No code has made it easier than ever to bring your ideas into life and build web apps, mobile apps, websites without writing a single line of code. However, you're probably feeling overwhelmed with all of the different builders that are available on the market right now. Or you probably run into some of the more complex apps like Bubble, Flutterflow or Webflow and you realize that it will take you weeks or even months to learn to be able to build out your idea. And as an entrepreneur, you probably don't have the time to do that. Well, if you're a complete beginner to no code or you just want to build out a basic version of your idea to get it on the market as soon as possible then this video should be useful for you as today i will be sharing the easiest and most beginner friendly no code tool builders available on the market right now while simple all of these still have some serious functionality to help you build out whatever you might have in mind and guys this video is not sponsored by any of the tools the tools i'll be listing in this video i found throughout my own experience or additional research but i will leave affiliate links in the description down below that you can click if you want to support the channel. If not, you can just Google the name of the app and go from there. Start off the software. Software is an easy to use no code tool that allows you to create web apps from your Airtable or Google Sheets data. It can be used to build a variety of web apps, internal tools, marketplaces, gated communities, directories, and much more. From my own experience, it is the easiest no code web app builder available right now. It has a beautiful drag and drop interface with pre built components that you can use to build at rapid speed. Each one of the components is customizable to your own liking. And there are two kinds of components there are static components and there's dynamic dynamic components. Static components are things like hero sections, images, and they remain the same, while dynamic components display data dynamically. So that will be the data from your Airtable or Google Sheets, meaning that whenever you make any changes to your database, that will display on the front end on those dynamic components. So for example, if you had a database of different employees and you were listing them on your front end in software, whenever you added a new employee in that database in your Airtable, that will also show up on your website on software. So when you sign up in software, you can start with either a web app from scratch or you can choose some kind of app from the template. Let's say we want to build an employee directory. So we can choose one of these. We'll have to grant access to Airtable. To add new blocks, we can just click here on the right and then choose from some of the pre-made blocks here. So as I mentioned before, there's dynamic and there's static blocks. The dynamic blocks will use the data from our Airtable. So let's say we add the list. Here we'll be able to choose the data source. So we choose our Airtable and that will basically pull the data from the Airtable and displayed here and then the static blocks will be headers hero sections and many more as you can see they have a lot of pre-built blocks already and this is the ones that you'll be building with so they have forms user accounts payments list list details tables inbox calendar kanban chart and many many more blocks to choose from they also have a lot of static blocks and all of these are customizable so let's say you added a, a hero block you could click on it and then change all the styling in here you could change the image you could change the background image you can change all of the colors, the paddings, everything you want to change is customizable in here. And software has a lot of different templates. They have templates for client portals, internal tools, dashboards. So if you have an idea that fits into any of these categories, you can basically pick a template from here and use that as your starting base, making it very fast to build it. Software also has plenty of integrations with other tools, and that can extend its functionality much further. There are integrations like Stripe, PayPal, Google Analytics, Typeform, Calendly, and many more. And of course, it has integrations, the tools like Zapier and Make, which you could use to have even deeper integrations as well as very complex automations. One notable strong suit of software is their management features. You can easily define permissions for different users, manage their accounts, and that makes software a very good choice for building web apps that require user registration and permission features. So who is software for? Well, if you want to build a front end for your Airtable or you want to build a web app, then software could be a great choice for you. It is also a very popular choice for those who are looking to build an MVP for their startup to quickly validate their idea before moving on to a more complex builder like Bubble or VWeb. Next up, we've got Glide. Now, I know that I just mentioned that software is the easiest builder that you could ever wish for. Well, Glide comes very, very close. But while software is aimed towards making general apps, Glide is more focused on making it as easy as possible to build internal tools and basic mobile apps. Glide's intuitive interface lets anyone rapidly create and launch apps while still having them looking awesome. They have a very heavy focus on UI as they believe that's very important in any kind of app. Now, when you start 
are building this glide, you can either choose to start the mobile or large screen, which would be web. But as glide is more designed for mobile, let's start with mobile. You can either choose to start with glide tables, which is glide's internal database, or any of these sources here, like Google Sheets, Excel, and Airtable. Let's just choose glide tables, and it started us off with this kind of template. Here on the left, we see the different pages. If you want to edit something, we click here on the components and then basically edit them. So let's say we want to change it to, to a grid or if you wanted to add new components, you can click on the plus here and add all of these different components. Just a simple title with an image. As you can see it added here, we can also just move it up. So now it's on the top and then we can edit it. So we can change the image here and then change the styling of it. And then in the actions tab here, you can set up all the different actions with the different integrations and in the data tab you can see your entire database and this is what the actions tab looks like basically you'll set up all the different interactions in this kind of flow diagram now glide is perfect for building product catalogs event apps education apps and customer portals the reason why you would choose glide over software are twofold glide has a mobile first approach to building the apps so you're building your app for mobile and then optimizing it for web so if you want to build a mobile app then glide will be a better choice over software and the second reason is that glide has much more database integration and it also has its own database structure. The Glide, you can use Google Sheets, Airtable, Glide's own database, BigQuery, and even MySQL. And it also has powerful integrations with anything you may need, such as OpenAI, Slack, Stripe, Discord, and much, much more. Now, we mentioned using Airtable as a database for the app builders, and it's one of the best tools to use for that. It has very extensive functionality and an absolutely beautiful UI, making it easy to use for anyone. And that's why we must mention it on this list as well. As if you are a non-technical founder, Airtable is an absolutely incredible tool for organizing your databases. But what exactly is Airtable? Well, it's a cloud-based software that combines the functionality of a spreadsheet with the power of databases and sprinkles AI as well as automations on top of that. Airtable allows you to store and manage all kinds of data, customer information, inventory, management tasks, basically anything that can be organized into a table format. It also allows you to effortlessly link all of these databases together to create relationships between different pieces of data. It also allows you to set up automations and integrate the front end tools to turn all that data into startups. But with its beautiful UI and complex functionality, you can build more than just databases. You can use it to build CRMs, project management apps, event management apps, internal dashboards, client dashboards, and all other kinds of internal tools. When you start off, you're gonna have a table like this, which is very basic, but from here on the right, we can choose the different templates. So let's say we wanna build an air table for a simple project tracker. There's different views that you can set up, so you can view your data in different kind of ways. For example, we can add a gallery view, and here we can see the projects in a different way. Like here we see it in the table view and here we would see it in a gallery view. You can add more columns, more information, and you can also set up the other databases that can link to this. There's also automations. You can add different triggers. For example, when a form is submitted, that could send a notification on Slack or when a webhook is received. So when, for example, you get data from another external source, that can add that onto the air table and then make some kind of calculations. The options are honestly endless. There's many different kinds of automations that you can make. As you can see, there's a few examples here, like you can send an email, a Slack message, you can update records automatically, you can send like a weekly report from all the data in your air table, and you can also set up interfaces. So interfaces would basically be like the front end views for the data. So it's basically like kind of like mini web apps made from your data within Airtable itself. You can even add a form there. So you could have this interface and then send that to your employees. Or if you have many different projects for a specific client, you could also set that up and then send that to your clients so they could see exactly what's happening for each different project. So you could either use Airtable as an internal tool for your own business or use it as a backend for a startup that you're building. And Airtable comes with an entire universe of templates as well as different extensions, making it super flexible for any kind of data needs. I know for a fact that some of you watching this video right now who know about a bit of no code space are kind of freaking out. Why? Well, it's because I haven't mentioned card yet. Well, now's the time I'm going to mention it. Honestly, this is one of my favorite tools on the list because it's absolutely awesome. When it comes to being beginner friendly, card is the king. 
there are no other builders out there that make it as easy as Card to build one-page websites. Card offers an easy-to-understand UI interface to build professional and responsive one-page websites. You can do it from scratch or you can use their beautiful pre-made templates. And they have a lot of templates to choose from. Choose a starting point, you choose from one of the beautiful templates that they have here. So let's say we just want to set up a simple landing page and that's it, you just edit from here. You click on the parts that you want to edit and then you edit them. So here you could upload an image, you could click here to edit the text and then you could click on all of these different components to add the links to them edit the text once again you can also edit the colors if you need something to build a quick landing page card is for you on the free plan you get all the basic features like adding texts lists images buttons videos containers but if you upgrade your account which is only 19 dollars a year yes a year you'll also be able to add contact sign up and payment forms and embed custom widgets from third-party services like stripe and paypal so you can also use it to take payments so if you need a builder for one page site or a portfolio a landing page email newsletter a sign up form then make sure to check out card now onto probably one of the most advanced no-code tools on this list. While being advanced, it's still friendly to the beginners as the building experience is pretty straightforward. And we're speaking about Adalo. What Adalo allows you to do is build complex mobile-first apps without writing any code. It has intuitive drag-and-drop interface that allows you to build apps for different devices visually and publish them on iOS as well as Android marketplaces as native apps. While Glide allows you to build apps, they don't allow you to build native apps and that's where Adalo differs. It is very quick to build the Adalo. It has in-app purchase functionality, loads of templates, a components marketplace, and of course, a long list of integrations. Now, this is what Adalo looks like. When you're building the Adalo, you're basically editing on this kind of board where you can see all the different views for your app and how the different pages interact with each other. And when you want to edit something, you just zoom in or you can click on the screens here and it will take you to the different screens. So let's say if you want to go to our login page, we click here and that's where we can edit it. You can basically click on the different components to resize them, to change the layout, to change the colors, to change the text. It's very easy, drag and drop, a little bit more complicated than software and other tools because it gives you much more flexibility. Like we can resize everything exactly the way we want and we can move everything around the way we want. While the software, it was more like building blocks. Here it's more drag and drop, a bit more complicated, but it gives us more functionality. If you wanted to add more components, you click on the plus here, and then you can choose from the components that they have here. They have forms, all these different ones, like vectors, line, like vectors, images, text, different buttons, different lists different navigation tabs. It is a great choice if you want to build e-commerce, booking, education, social media, or business apps. And once again, it's a popular choice for building MVPs before moving on to a more complex builder like Draftbit or Flutterflow. At this point in time, everybody knows what Notion is. You probably used it to organize your notes or your study materials, and some people even use it to manage their business and their entire content production pipeline. And now imagine if you could set up a Notion database and then turn it into a beautiful website in just a few clicks. Well, that's exactly what Super.so does. It allows you to turn your Notion data into a fully functional, responsive website. And it's honestly amazing because the websites that come out of it are beautiful. For example, my website no Code 4 is actually made the super. The database is on Notion and then super is the front end. This is what it looks like in Notion. As you can see here, <laughs> it's like completely different. It's just a gallery view of all these different tools as well as some text and an image. But then super converts that into a beautiful website. So it's pretty awesome. For this one, I had to do a bit of custom code to get it the way that I wanted to, but there are many different templates available on super that could suit your needs. It's a great solution for those who are looking to set up a quick personal site or a portfolio, a single a landing page, a blog, a business website, or some kind of directory. Now some honorable mentions. While not being app builders, this list of apps should help you with any other needs that you might have during your startup journey. Calendly.com is an amazing tool for automating call scheduling. Make.com will be your best buddy if you want to set up complex automation or integrate all kinds of different apps together. Millanote is a tool I use every single day for organizing all of my thoughts and ideas in one place. Absolutely amazing for brainstorming and managing all the different information. Beehive is an all-in-one newsletter solution. Very easy to use and Outsider is all-in-one membership software. You can use it to set up recurring payments. Now, if you want to learn about even more no-code tools, click this video on the screen now. And if you want to hear about no-code success stories, then check out this playlist.